guest for tonight is a very funny fellow who was nominated for the Best Newcomer Award at the 2016 Melbourne International Comedy Festival. He's currently performing his new show there entitled Guy Montgomery Doesn't Check His Phone for an Hour. Would you please welcome Guy Montgomery? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this, this should go well. I, I think this should go well. Uh, I've certainly I've deployed every technique in my comedy arsenal to sort of try and guarantee success. Uh, I'm quite unique in that regard, actually. One of the techniques I use before doing a show is often I'll try and get myself into a funny mood. Uh, I guess it's just another thing that sets me apart from the other comics of the world. Uh, you know, <laughs> the technique, sometimes it'll be something as simple as thinking a, a funny thought. Uh, sometimes I'll even say, say a funny thing out loud. Uh, for instance, I'm staying in an apartment uh, not, not far from where the studio is here, and on the way to the show this evening, I was coming down the, the lift, and when I got to the ground floor, you know, another guy was coming into the... You've, you've been in them. And, uh, and I was coming out, you know, and this guy's coming in. And, I, and I'm an interloper in this building, bear in mind. And this man, presumably a permanent resident. And as I'm exiting, I notice this man is carrying nothing but a jumbo 18-pack of triple-ply toilet paper. And so I think, oh, what's this? An opportunity for comedy? Uh, and so I said to this man, I said, uh, oh, yes, hmm. Off to take some monster shit. Uh, it, it did not play well in the lift. Uh, you know, but, I mean, it, it's good to be here. It is. It is. It's, it's good. To, and by here, I, I specifically mean indoors. I, uh, I love it indoors. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you can tell this by looking at me, but I'm what they call built for the indoors. Yes. Uh, truly, oh, I truly love it. I tell you, doesn't like it indoors so much actually. Is uh, is birds. <laughs> I've never, you know, I've never met a single bird who looked relaxed indoors. I've, I've never walked into a room and seen a bird in there and thought, oh, yeah, no, that's, that's good, actually, that's perfect. You know, this, this should be very relaxing for both of us. No, here's, here's my impression of a bird entering a room. I've made a huge mistake. <laughs> and then it's, just, it's bedlam, you know, they bounce around all the walls like that old DVD logo. It's a terrifying prospect. No, I don't, it's not, for, look, I, I, I'm someone who, I had no practical value in any given situation. I have essentially made it this far in my life by being good for morale, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's lucky I found comedy. Before I did comedy for five years, I promoted cheese, and supermarkets, which is it's too long for that particular line of industry. Uh, but I got, it was Gouda was my specialty. I'd say, now, this is a, a hard cheese, but a fair cheese. And people, people love that. It'd fly off the shelf. They'll pay whatever, they, they'll pay whatever for it. Any, you know, the, the, whole, the whole value of food, it's all in flux. It's gone out the window. I went out for breakfast this morning to enjoy the local Australian cafe culture. I paid... $24 for one soft-boiled egg, you know, and, and various accoutrements. But uh, it, uh, you know, that's, we've got cafes in New Zealand. That's not entirely beyond the pale. But what they, they really tried to sting me is after I had the, the egg, I was thinking a sweet treat would really kick off the afternoon. What I crave is a sweet treat. And so as I was approaching the till to settle the bill, they had a glass cabinet, you know, contained in which various different baked goods, some savoury, <laughs> uh, no thank you, I've just had an egg, uh, <laughs> and some sweet. Yes, please. And, uh, but the gall of this cafe, which shall remain nameless, this cafe, for the princely sum of $7.50, we're trying to peddle something called an orange peel brownie. <laughs> for an orange peel brownie for $7.50. What, like, I don't know that the peel is comfortably the worst part of the orange. So what, I'm going to pay you $7.50 to go out the back and have all the fun with the juice and the flesh. Out of it. Is that not likely? No, I took 10 packets of complimentary sugar and tore Bondi Junction and you on. I'm a savvy consumer, you know. I'm very... I'm intelligent. I, I'm arguably the most intelligent of my friends, you know. I'm one of, I'm one of few friends remaining who hasn't been struck by the grips of paranoia and started... I've got friends who... Some of you have probably done this. They've started putting tape over their cameras on their laptop because they're so fearful of what everyone, whatever the computer people, information, you know. You go, oh, yeah, no, that's exactly it. Yeah, you, you, you're onto it, Michael. That's what the FBI and the hackers really want. What they really want is footage of a slightly out of shape 31-year-old guy masturbating. Yeah, no, you've, you've cracked the code, you know. And, and I'm not that paranoid necessarily, but I, I am at a point now, my paranoia is such that if I ever do masturbate using my computer, what I do is I'll sort of just turn the screen by about 15 degrees. <laughs> So it's sort of just me coming around the corner like this, you know? <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. I've been going on, Gomery. Come on, Gomery, everybody. Thanks. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks,